Could Eric Carlson be on his way to the Edmonton Oilers? There's been a couple of new tweets coming out on certain NHL trade rumors from both Chris Johnston and David Pagnota talking about Eric Carlson and some re-engagement in the talks with the Edmonton Oilers. But could Eric Carlson actually go to the Edmonton Oilers and what could a trade look like to Edmonton? Well, watch till the end for all the news and all the trade rumors and hit that subscribe button for more hockey content just like this. Now, Eric Carlson being in trade rumors has been quite interesting because you combine the fact that he's been so good while also still having that massive contract, it's been nearly impossible for the Sharks and any other NHL team to really figure out a deal or what it could potentially look like. But according to Chris Johnston, Edmonton and San Jose are making a ton of progress. If you look at this tweet by Chris, he says, Word is the San Jose Sharks and Edmonton Oilers have re-engaged on Eric Carlson trade discussions. There are considerable financial hurdles on both ends, but it's at least the second time this season they've explored a potential fit. So we get quite a bit here, not even just talking about the fact that they're re-engaged in contracts, but of course they've talked about this before and have circled back to interest. So not only has Edmonton had interest in Eric Carlson before, they're coming back on the Eric Carlson camp, which means that they're probably a lot more serious this time. And those financial hurdles are absolutely there. With Eric Carlson, he makes 11.5 million for the next four seasons after this. So although he's having a fantastic Norris candidate quality season, he's been fantastic, but that contract will definitely come into play. Even at 50% retained, if you have him at 5.25 million, that's still a big contract for the next four seasons that any NHL team would have to plan to keep in on the roster, especially a team like Edmonton, who is already so cap strapped to even bring on a 50% retained deal like that would be massive. Now, one big part of this Eric Carlson deal on top of the $11.5 million cap it and on top of the four years after this remaining is that full no move clause. So Eric Carlson will need to accept any deal that is proposed to him. But I do have a feeling that if Edmonton does have the go ahead, if they're in a situation where a Eric Carlson deal will happen and that's the only choice that Carlson has, I have a feeling that he might want to go there just to compete, just to win that Stanley Cup and get that Stanley Cup under his pedigree but to be honest that could be still a major hurdle we don't know really if eric carlson wants to go to edmonton and that could be the main thing that stops this deal from happening now we got this part as well in this tweet from david pagnota of the fourth period and he says this mentioned yesterday talk that has picked up surrounding carlson san jose is chatting with multiple teams and as cj says oilers are one of them Sharks willing to retain some salary, and I'm told the ask still includes a couple of first round picks. And going to that, seems to be some traction on the Eric Carlson front and talking about the multiple teams that could be in on him and already are in on him. But you consider the season that he's had. And to me, I think mean, the contract might be something that teams are still willing to bring on, especially if there is salary retention. I think a few months ago when we were talking about the Carlson situation, San Jose wasn't too keen on retaining too much salary, but it seems like they're more open to that, which is what they should be doing, let's be real. They're not gonna be competing over these next four years while they're retaining the salary. So to me, if they're able to retain salary, get as many picks as possible, that's what San Jose should be looking for. But if they get a couple of first round picks, to me, that should be an obvious yes by San Jose. Even though Carlson, I think if he had a great contract, would be worth more than that, that contract still does come into play, and that's why it might not be as big of an asking price as some teams might have to give up. But still, two first-round picks for a 32-year-old defender who's locked up for a long time and won't be really in his prime by the time the Sharks are actually hopefully competing in a few years' time. And to me, San Jose should absolutely be doing anything possible. I'd be retaining 50% if I could, if I can get a couple more picks for it. And I think for teams like Edmonton, that's going to be a must in a deal. But you just see this season that Eric Carlson is having. Last year in 50 games, he got 35 points. Now this year in 53 games, he has 17 goals, 53 assists, 70 points, is leading all players in even strength points, is leading all defensemen in points. Offensively, he's been one of, if not the most impressive player this season for the team he's on in San Jose and what he's been able to do on the back end. Now, defensively, He's not going to be doing all that much, but that's not what you're getting Eric Carlson to do. If he's on Edmonton, he immediately makes that amazing power play, like one of the best power plays we have ever seen. And combined with McDavid and Drysaddle and all the, all the offensive forward weapons they have, it could be absolutely insane. Now, whether that's the best move for Edmonton is another question because I think defensively they could still use a lot of work, but 
Honestly, if you have Eric Carlson at Edmonton, the puck might not ever be on the other team. So you might not have to worry about that. And even though I think Jacob Chikrin might be a better pure fit for Edmonton, at the same time, I want full chaos. Give me Eric Carlson in Edmonton. And he's already on pace for like 100 plus points this year with friggin' San Jose. Imagine what he can do in Edmonton and especially come playoff time. Again, we saw with the 2017 Sens how insane he is when he gets that chance in the playoffs and with Edmonton oh my goodness I just I just want to see it please hockey gods make this happen now thinking about Eric Carlson and the potential fits that we could see I honestly have no clue who else could actually be on on be on Eric Carlson realistically I mean maybe the Boston Bruins but I don't think so maybe the Toronto Maple Leafs I don't think so either and just looking down through the list I mean there's a few teams that again could be maybes maybe the Vegas Gold Knights want to go crazy like that maybe the Jets want to go crazy like that but I, it feels like it would have to be the perfect fit and again retention would have to be huge on the deal maybe LA potentially LA with, with Dowdy and Carlson would be really fun as a throwback D, D pair you got maybe the Calgary Flames it's just there's so many teams out there that would just be super weird on Carlson's front and I don't know if they'd be able to actually make the deal happen and again that the Islanders kind of made their big move already with Bo Horvat but maybe they have another maybe Lou Lamarillo has another something up his sleeve I'm not sure but I think Edmonton definitely makes the most sense in terms of teams that are crazy enough and wacky enough to go after him and would also be really fun to go after him too and again we know that Edmonton's likely going to make a pretty decent move at this deadline whether it be a Chickering or whether it be an Eric Carlson it'll be interesting to see what they do but I would not be surprised if Edmonton's willing to give up a couple first round picks to make it happen now looking at the Oilers cap friendly there will have to be probably more a part of that deal going back to San Jose to actually make the cap work because right now for Edmonton in terms of deadline cap space they have 1.25 or 1.1 1.125 to work with at this deadline so there'll have to be at least a one contract or a couple of contracts likely going back San Jose's way at the most if there's like 50 percent salary retention they're still going to need a lot a lot to get rid of that deal now there's a couple of options I think for Edmonton one that's pretty realistic is maybe a Jesse Pugliarvi maybe a Kaylee Yamamoto on top of that or maybe Pugliarvi and Matias Yanmark maybe the Oilers give up a defenseman maybe that's Tyson Berry with his 4.5 million dollar cap but even if he's been much better this season than in the last couple of years for Edmonton especially on defense there's a lot of options here for the Edmonton Oilers I think Pugliarvi and Yanmark is likely the most option likely likely option but that also probably would give more picks back to San Jose's way if they're going to bring on contracts like that. So I don't know, maybe the deal is Eric Carlson, 50% retained to oil to Edmonton in exchange for Pooley RV, maybe Matias Yanmark, maybe the 2023 first, 2024 first, and maybe like the 2023 third round pick. That can maybe be what we see, I guess. But I want to know your guys' thoughts on Eric Carlson potentially going to Edmonton. How do you guys like the fit? What trade could you like to see? What do you think an Eric Carlson to Edmonton trade could look like? And let me know also, what are the other teams that might be interested in Eric Carlson? Because there could be a lot of interest there, but I'm not sure if we'll actually see a trade go down with anybody else. But let me know which other teams might be engaged in the Eric Carlson front. I'd love to know your thoughts. Of course, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell for more trade doom rumor breakdowns just like this. And of course, share the video with all the hockey fans you guys know online, especially the Oilers and San Jose Sharks fans out there for sure, because this is a pretty big one. But thank you guys so much for watching. Have a great afternoon, a great day, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.